Hello everyone, today I just wanted to do a very quick video and uh, where I want to talk about something that's really been helping me with my productivity and it's, um, it's an attachment or, sorry, it's not an attachment, it's basically an app, it's an extension that you can add to uh, Facebook and it's called News Feed Eradicator. And so right here I'm going to show you, this is on Safari, I don't usually use the Safari browser but I just wanted to show you the difference. Uh, when I go on to uh, Facebook uh, under Safari, this is what pops up and it's like, you know, everyone's Facebook. You have the notifications here, you know, that show up in red when you have new messages or new notifications or whatever. And then here you have your news feed uh, that uh, goes through with all the stories from people and their updates and their pictures from their trips and news, etc, 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 right? And uh, this is pretty much how it is for everyone. Now, however, uh, I just want to show you the difference when I go on to, uh, where are we, Chrome. If I go to Chrome and I log on to my Facebook account here, now you see, once again, we have the, um, we have the notifications up here and it, and it shows up as well as, you know, the stuff here, but otherwise the news feed is completely gone and uh, it gets replaced by a quote. So the reason I like this is that Facebook is one of the biggest time wasters for me and I think probably for all of you out there. And you know, the reason we waste our time is because we go on this news feed and we see what friends are posting, we want to comment, we want to like, we have our own opinion, someone posts something political, so then we have to reply, etc, etc, etc. So. I really like this because if someone writes to me or if someone sends me a message, I'll still find out. And so it's not like I'm completely in the dark, but I don't have the, you know, all the uh, updates and everything wasting my time if I want to take a short break. And in fact, it's a quote and this quote, they provide quotes, but you can also enter your custom quote. So I've actually set up a couple quotes that I like and, um, and they, they just rotate every time I log on and I get new quotes and that way I don't waste time. So if I do want to check Facebook to see if there are any new notifications, it can just be a one minute thing rather than a 20 minute thing and getting lost in, you know, the rabbit hole that is Facebook, the Facebook newsfeed. Now, this isn't to say I'm completely cut off. Obviously on my phone and other things, I, um, I, I can see the Facebook newsfeed. Also, if I use another browser like Safari, as you saw, I can see the whole newsfeed if I want to. But this is very useful for those times that I switch to Facebook or that I'm, you know, just checking something quickly and uh, I don't get sucked into the whole time wasting checking my newsfeed thing that Facebook can be. So anyway, I found this very useful. Once again, it's called Newsfeed Eradicator and it's just an extension you can get and uh, it's very simple and then once you have it on, uh, it, you just uh, you don't get your newsfeed anymore and so you can get a lot more work done. I should say, and I, I have mentioned this in some videos before, that I also have something called self-control. And self-control is, uh, okay, remind me later, self-control is something uh, that I find useful because what it does is uh, you have a certain blacklist of certain websites and see Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, CNN, these are websites where I will waste time. And so I can pick however long I want and uh, just block all of these websites. So I, in a way, this is a redundancy, but this is good just for the times when I forget to do that or I just, you know, I'm switching over to Facebook quickly, something along those lines. At least I make it, I, my whole thing is I try to make it as easy as possible to work and as hard as possible to waste time. And so that's why I like this newsfeed eradicator. So it's just something that I find very useful. So I thought you might as well. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a free extension. It's a free app. So you might as well check it out. Once again, called newsfeed eradicator. So I hope you found this useful. Um, if you do, please don't forget to subscribe. You'll get more videos like this. And also please click the like button because that always helps and I appreciate it. And otherwise, I'll talk to you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.